The following program is a production of the Maine Public Broadcasting Network. Hi, everybody. This is Lou McNally. Coming up next on Made in Maine, we're in search of water. Now, the experts will tell you that's one of our next endangered natural resources, but we found a place where the water is bubbling clear and pure right out of the ground at Summit Spring in Harrison. And if you have to drill for it, that's what the Hatch family's been doing in Nobleboro for the last 50 years. And Bison Pumps in Holton is a throwback to an older technology with a modern twist. All next on Made in Maine. You know, if you're not lucky enough to have a massive, natural, pure spring in your backyard, uh, and you happen to have a well, well, then you need a pump. And if your situation calls for a hand pump, there's none better than those manufactured by the folks at Bison Pumps in Holton. Water is a very precious commodity. We all, me included, we all take it for granted. If you're fortunate enough to have your own water supply, you need to take care of it. A nice way to take care of that water supply is to install a bison pump on your well casing because it will not only provide you with water under any circumstance, whether you lose your power or just want to use it as a yard hydrant, use it to draw a glass of water, nice 40 degree water from your well, but it also caps your, the top of your well casing so that it can't be tampered with. We sold our first pump in 1999. It originated as a result, really, of the uh, ice storms that we had in, in Maine in 1998. Our plumbing business was getting inquiries and requests for hand pumps. So from that, we had the idea, I think we have enough talent within our plumbing business here that we might be able to make a hand pump. So this is the first one we ever made. And I kind of look at this and have to chuckle because it is kind of crude by our standards now. We're pretty, quite proud of the way that it looks now and the way that it's performing. It's working very well. This well adapter, this is the portion that actually mounts on top of your casing. And then you lock it with these four locking bolts and your pump is securely affixed to the top of the casing. And this gives you, here's access with the piping and rod that go down in the casing, connected to the cylinder that ends up down in the casing. That is just a uh, clear view so you can see what, what's going on inside. When I'm pulling up like this, I'm sucking water out of my well into the cylinder and I'm pushing all the water ahead of the piston up and out the spout. Then when I push it back down again, there's a check valve right here. That check valve allows the water that's in here to come from this side to this side. So we push it all the way down and go through the motion again. So it's just a single stroke up and down and out the spout. This is the finished product. So we've gone from this copper cylinder to now an all stainless pumping cylinder. This is what they look like when they're totally done. This one being the deep well pump here and this is the, this is the shallow one that pumps that typically mounts like on a countertop. The basic difference is a shallow well pump sucks water out of the ground, out of a hole, just like a straw. A deep well pump pushes water from the supply, from the water down in the hole, up a pipe, out the spout. We, we sell another a version of the pump that actually mounts right on a countertop, just like the, the traditional cast iron pitcher pumps, they're called. A lot of camp owners have those. A shallow well hand pump mounts on a countertop. That's a suction lift, just like pulling water out of a glass with a straw. Our customers are all over the place. Um, certainly, we have a lot of customers in Maine. Um, we, sh we ship our pump all over the United States. We have some uh, pumps overseas. We have been connected with a, a Rotary Club. Rotary Club has a world water program. We have sent several of our pumps to uh, Costa Rica and Guatemala. PBS takes you behind the scenes of the new... Probably one of our uh, most interesting pump sales was a, uh, actually a, a movie production that was done in Machias and advertised on uh, PBS. They bought one of our pumps to uh, supply this uh, movie site with, with water. Unfortunately, they couldn't show the, the pump because it didn't meet their construction era. <laughs> so, but yeah, that was, that was a fun one. He told me it was supplying water to a community. And that's what really tipped me. I said, wow, there's, there can't be a community in Maine that still doesn't have, you know, working without a public water supply. But anyway, we, 
I went down um, only to find out that this was a, a, a movie production and they had a problem with their well and uh, secretively they had to take us into uh, where this all was. We had to sign disclaimers and all that jazz. So it was, it was fun. We fixed their well and went on our way. Our market is to anybody who wants dependable access to their private water supply. So just about anybody who has a drilled well or a water source to pull from is a client for our product. My last name is Harbison, and the last five letters of my last name are, is Bison, B-I-S-O-N. So that's where we came up with the name. Bison Pumps is primarily an internet business. It's internet driven. It's, most of our customers find us through a web search. A lot of them find us through uh, magazine advertisement that we do, uh, some television advertising that we do, some trade show presence that we have. I was down at the Common Ground Fair in Unity in 2003, and I saw the Harbison, uh, the Harbison boys there, and I first saw their hand pump there. And when I decided to remodel uh, last fall, I thought of the Harbisons and had them install this for me. I took over the business for my dad when he passed away, um, and now we have a son, John, so maybe he'll be the third generation. Jim's not worried about the butt well side. Okay. That can stay unreamed. All right. He'll take he'll put that in the lathe and face it. All right. I hope I hope to be able to take the business over. That's uh that's a little ways out. Just keep working and learning for now, but hopefully eventually someday. He's a joy to have around. I like working with my dad pretty much. It doesn't get much better than that to be able to come to work every day and work with your father as far as I'm concerned.